Hi everyone, morning and uh, welcome to another edition of the Bread for Soul Convos with myself, say LSG. And um, firstly, thank you so much for for watching this platform, for watching the show. It's it's been like yeah, it's been ninety seven episodes now. We are three episodes away from from reaching a hundred, and um, I'm very happy to be to have hosted many different guests on the show. You know, like and today I'm hosting somebody who's found a way like. Uh, uh, to grow a niche event, you know, like this Night of Soul happening in Kuruman, an annual event. But also, not only that, he's also managed to build himself a, a ticketing app, and that is DigiTicket South Africa. I'm, I'm happy to be joined by uh, Tsepan Peme. How are you, bro? Okay, I'm good. Hey, I think. Okay. Wait first. Hold on. Internet is starting up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So getting yeah, sure. Thanks for the opportunity, man. At least uh it shows that I've made it because uh you featured the great Zebu Vitla and uh Black Coffee. So or our Lena, I mean that league when I'm here, it shows what I is it does Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> no, sure. I mean, also the thing is, Peter. Now, now for now, it's like a uh, senior in general. When it comes to music, when it comes to house music specifically, we've got such a yeah. vibrant scene. I want so now for me, when you're hosting somebody who's doing spring fiesta, and then you're hosting somebody who does night of soul like yourself, um, for me, it's oh. like all events uh, they contribute to us having the scene yeah, that we have. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And it's very mm. important for us to kind of also share knowledge with one another because there's people who might want to start what you have started, you know, like really mm. start from the ground up and build it up. And, and it's important for, for me to be hosting people like you so that yeah. how you've yeah. done it, you know, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. so that you can, we can live the legacy. Yeah, our... definitely, definitely. Fit. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> what I didn't know is that in 2011 you used to sell mixed vegetables right so i know this is a bit off topic but it's something that i found out and i was like man this is interesting so would you say that's where your uh entrepreneurial journey started i wouldn't say that uh lsg because i'm thinking because as well this week in kinahana get married where did my entrepreneurial journey start mm-hmm. I started in primary school actually because um, I would like to say for a we were the fortunate ones we went to like your white schools yeah. so in white schools there were entrepreneur days I think you also had it in one of your schooling careers wow. so that's why it started uh, I wasn't I wasn't there on first time and giving value so I started we started uh, I started selling there because uh the challenge there was that uh i spoke late for a tomorrow is an entrepreneur day at school and then my mom had to improvise and because she's a specialist and then i had to go and sell them so but it was nothing different than what you have in your household one first time so i think i had 40 50 packets by that time and then past an hour nothing was sold and then a friend of mine was selling uh, nice things, Baba. So and then I dropped the price because I didn't spend anything. So that's why an hour later I was sold out. So that's why it started actually. That's why the the subconscious of the business started. So yeah. And then mixed veggies, I was doing it to survive on first time because I was from tertiary, there was no work. And then I started that uh, mixed veg uh, thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it started. But yeah, we are growing. We are learning. We are learning every day. Sure. Sure, bro. Uh, um. So, Kwata, uh, what's about this this thing that you found that as well? Uh, because I think because of what what we're gonna talk about with regards to your event, your your ticketing um avenue that you've started, you've built Digi Ticket mm. SA. Um. Also ties in with with the event. Um. Kupar, explain it. What exactly like? What is DigiTicket, if you were to explain it? Okay, so basically, let me take you to how they both started, because they were parallel. Mm-hmm. 
they started the same year. Uh, so, uh, DigiTicket is a company that uh, hosts uh, Night of Soul. So why why is it like that? Um, DigiTicket, when you get into an industry that you are not known or that you don't know and you want to present something, you first have to build traction on first time. Mm. So we, we, we were working for that year, I, I was with my friend and Ritama around trying to do events like deep house events because you know i think we for we 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 have seen that uh this uh community of ours uh piano because piano was there in back in 2016 piano was there back in 2014 mm -hmm. Mare. it was not as big as last year or Two years back, right? yeah. so and then we were doing the rounds for Chaka for a, who can we bring into our town? Kuruma never at all. Lala, you so keep the scene alive, yeah, yeah, deep house. Right? Mm -hmm. And then I was starting at the back end, I was starting the, the digi ticket thing. Mm -hmm. So, digi ticket was about a ticketing platform that would uh, allow you to buy a ticket in the comfort of your home right? mm -hmm. without going to the stores, without going. Anyway, well, so and then in that offering, uh, now how are you going to introduce digi ticket to the people? Mm. And then that's when Night of Soul was born. And then Night of Soul was actually born in we are going to make a series of events. Mm. Well, and now a series of events, even now a thing that is repeated too many times, end up ever, even now, no, okay, sharp. Sure the first session they liked it because we were supposed to do the next one the the following month and then they liked it and then he said no let them wait for for a year or a babon or a like suspense because that's what creates hunger that's what creates curiosity for what are these people bringing mm -hmm. and then uh so basically digital ticket is a is an application it's available right now more your play stores your working Apple Play Store, iOS, and uh, Android, which is Google, your yeah, your Hawaii phones, your Samsung phones, and your Apple phones. So it's available there. Basically, what it does, Iberica like, events, ticketing, accommodation booking, restaurant bookings, and travel bookings. Because why is that? Let's say I go to your event in Matike. I get the motor coming. Nobody is going to cook for me. Mm. Nobody is going to accommodate me. Mm. Or get sixty easy for that for that matter. Yeah. Nobody is going to accommodate me. Why do I have to eat? Kiapa, Kijabo restaurant. I I need to know what what restaurants are, are around here. Where can I eat? What's unique? One mm. channel because sometimes I remember no Kijabo McDonald's. Sometimes we wanna eat our food, our African cuisine. Mm. So how am I going to find out those kind of things? But it's not for it's limited to your African restaurants. Mm. It's also, it, it includes Boma, McDonald's and stuff like that. Mm. But have a variety, have a choice that, okay, pizza, come home, for example. Oh, there's a place called Carlo, okay, one yeah. those kind of things. And yeah. then, yeah, and then travel, obviously, like you need to find out how do i get to my beginning mm. or what mm. those kind of things once i've got uh, a an event ticket mm. Or what? Mm. so it's it's about tourism actually but uh it started as an event um uh, as an event platform and then growing to get uh, growing along introducing other other features as well yeah so so the, the way yeah. the way get thing what you say is that the way you've built um this app is that if somebody's going to attend rocking the daisies in 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 cape town, in um, cape town yeah. for example you, you can mm. you, you can buy tickets from the app and then not only that but you can also find out how to travel to cape town where to book where to sleep in cape town where to eat and so forth that's right yeah and like for example you can leave your cards mm. more high you can leave your card, uh, your bank card. Also, who did really do the order? I'm going to have three meals a day. I'm going to, and then why not? I'm a cell phone or a tenor, a restaurant, and they scan for Babon or Gilseho. 
okay bas kena you took your order e no rutlo go etsa kana go so and then go guest house in there also or go hoteling also the same thing happens wa no need gore o tshware cash but you can have cash but i'm just saying it's a it's a it's an option as well wa wa but you can do all those things go you can attend an event in your phone yeah yeah and only go there come me lo have and be present and tell her Hey, yeah man, no no i think it's a it's, it's a dope yeah. initiative definitely you know and i think yeah. the, the, the reason i like it so much is also because it extends um further than just eventing on talohan so like other people can find other ways to use the app and and, and i can foresee as long as you are uh, growing as time goes like it can really manifest into many different things that can that can be uh, usable you know what i mean um so yeah. so with regards to to ticketing cuz kwa tlhabwa lona ka di ticket and when it comes to uh the ticket it's a uh, your own event um mm-hmm. how do you how do you handle the, the ticketing issue heavy so now because we simulated this thing this uh, t- did you take it the same year you mm-hmm. started the, the the event how do you um make tickets we rang what do you do a printer do people buy and then you go and print physical tickets how, how does it work So uh the challenge that we had over the years no uh because now uh this thing of ours uh it's been kind of game it's been uh restarted in 2016 ne? so 2016 it was a website and then you know Hori, like our market basically is not um but again it's not uh are are trusty the internet that much we don't trust e-commerce so, mm-hmm. so then an issue we had to improvise and then say okay we draw up or we pull the tickets out of the system we print them and then out of our server night of soul was like we we do we we are out ne? Mm-hmm. we do uh good activations every friday there's a park mukuruma ne, where we go and activate so we teach people also to buy online we sell them physical printed tickets that we have uh, retracted from from the system but now it's going to be different because uh we are investing more money into educating people about e-commerce mm. and uh, the convenience of it mm. so now we 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 kind of failed as a business for a promoted digital ticket even more so that we can get uh, a lot of people buying online mm. so from now on the global educator we are going to do those kind of campaigns for it. this is what you can do and stuff like that but yeah previously we've been we've been printing out tickets mm. and issuing them and verification and stuff like that same way as as you would go to a store and buy a ticket something yeah. like that yeah yeah so so tell me then uh, have you had what kind of issues have you had with regards to ticketing uh, especially on the day uh, event uh, have you had issues when no uh, people are duplicating the ticket they buy the copy and come through or, or what, what kind of issues have you have you experienced with your event uh, i'm not sure because i think i think that's the same reason elevating restarted you know that's the same reason uh digital ticket started because we saw we've been i've been to events man i've been to a lot of events before i even started an event because i think i was doing my case study by then but not realizing that so nike kono mutlo ba tsebe ba re ah the ticket is they have been sold the fake tickets and i wondered but but how well, well, okay yes if they are fake tickets i'm not saying what well, digital ticket tickets cannot be be faked mm. like our our rent is fake our 10 rents are fake every day yeah. so who are we mm. so uh even not about okay let's because some events out of uh, a lot of event organizers are doing this around they book a company like a uh, computer ticket to do their ticketing mm-hmm. but then they don't hire scanners for those tickets or well, whatever that's why it goes wrong mm-hmm. and then we realize later after what they never told 10,000 dollars mm-hmm. all of these 10,000 people were were using fake tickets mm-hmm. so and then i okay, came and then i devised the plan for it. okay because scanners are too rough for that other company when mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it's like money So why don't we do an app? Our app also will give you if you sign up with us, we give you an app on your iPhone because I know you're using an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we give you an app, Elevating it's free. 
which is it can be installed on either the securities or whoever is involved in the event, your team, mm. basically. They can install that app and scan those tickets. So the only the only way to avoid uh, counterfeit tickets is to scan them. Mm. Because money, like I'm telling you, money is, uh, is also fake. There's counterfeit money mm. in South Africa. There's counterfeit money in USA. Wherever you go, mm. people are printing money for themselves. But coming to your question is that uh, in your in our event, we never experienced that because I would like to say it's a it's a big event but small community because now we can we can do away with that because uh, uh, it's in house our tickets are digi ticket mm. so we know from the top of our head how our ticket looks mm. so mm. and then another person I see it's a Joseph for it so that you can fake it mm. I get the one yeah. it, it, it's not yet uh, a big thing so that uh, everybody can try to to fake it as as, as that so we haven't encountered that mm. as much or maybe irkudile. i'm not going to say what it is but maybe irkudile, maybe it was one or two tickets but it's mm. not much yeah mm. yeah but we make sure that we scan we make sure that moto has to be has to be scanned yeah. Yeah. so that's how that's how we try to manage that uh-huh. Yeah. So uh, uh, then um, I'm very interested to find out then, Jorge, um, have you have you started offering service Yaha or SDG ticket? Have you started offering it to specifically like deep house underground uh, promoters, uh, not necessarily underground, but just like people who are catering for deep house events who are promoting deep house events? Have you have you managed to um, sell your your product or your service to them? Yeah, I think I think the the barrier that we had, man, get up for it. What when you starting a business? Who uh, crow? When you start a business, um, business always start. Uh, you are not going to trust me when I walk into your door until I, mm. until rocking the daisies in Cape Town can say, okay, we are using digi ticket. Mm. Uh, we are using digi ticket on now for for our events wow. mm. can i can i answer this quickly hey man i think it's rather if you if you just hang up uh, so they will they will catch the story <laughs> anyway yeah so i'm very interested in this thing because if somebody is creating something that similarly could be competition to um a compute ticket you know and compute tickets the the percentages that they take are quite high and because of how big the company is I've heard I've I've heard of so many events who um, have gotten like uh, scammed basically because of how easily available those tickets that a computer ticket can can be to people you know so I'm very much interested if somebody's um, uh, especially like somebody who's into the kind of music that I'm into who who understands um, how to promote an event um, a deep house event a soulful house event which is like a niche market event you know really uh really uh, and starts to create an app like this that he can create tickets and, and a ticketing system which i i can assume that i will ask him about it but i'm assuming is could be cheaper than uh, uh what we would normally pay go, go compute ticket or what we normally pay go other like um, big ticketing services i think it could be something worth um worth supporting definitely and um uh, i'm just gonna wait for 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 Tepan to come back man are you are you here man okay anyway so, okay yeah yeah uh, so, sorry about that man no cool so this thing oh, yeah, sorry about that man yeah yeah no cool bro don't worry about it yeah. um this thing because uh so but uh, are you planning to is it something in longer i plan to do we, meaning like you are planning to reach out to more people to use your service especially um specifically asking uh, deep house events yeah yeah i i think we've been in talks with other people man. like i said in the before uh, before i i was disturbed then yeah? we have been in talks with other people but the question always arises for you like are you not going to eat our money because remember now it's it's uh it's difficult because 
it cannot be other way or a child is in a mobile in a house and then pain because this is a system a system has systems as well one mm. so the money goes to this point and it has to go to this point and then you have to get the money at the end of the day it's basically that but now because i don't know i i, I don't like to raise the, the color issue is it because uh i'm i'm black and black people are knowing are known for 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 chawi money and stuff like that blah, blah. so it's one of those issues but yeah eventually we are talking we are talking with other people as well uh, we are in talks with other guys to to implement this and it's a it's a nice it's a nice thing and it will save a lot it will bring convenience to especially our community our deep house community like mm. you say because i believe or not for other other events but what they might want from but i believe for it but but deep house they are more open-minded they 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 more into exploring things and i believe for it this thing can can work for them because imagine if you have to go to my brother's event uh, in Malanga, you don't know where uh, going to be newcastle lies you don't know what you're going to do mm -hmm. like it would be beneficial if you're driving from Joburg or devon or whatever the case might be or from kuruman for that matter mm -hmm. you'll be sorted all right hello so it's one of those things we have to invest in as people on not just look at Korean, but uh, it's been done by by the say or it's been done by Tepal. Mm. What benefit? Can, how how can it benefit us? What is what is the benefit of 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 this business? Yeah, but so I it's think... only that. But but yeah, we bottom line is that we are in talks, and then happy uh, to stipulate that by yeah COVID mm. because. Uh, a week prior to COVID, that's when our our app went live on the app stores. Mm -hmm. Prior um serial closing down the whole country. Yeah. And yeah. No, no now I think also the fact that Yahore Iru are another black person, I I feel that should be even enough motivation to say maybe we should try this out or one. But I, I think I understand Hore some people would be a bit uncomfortable with trusting their mm. event you know with somebody who's seemingly new and, and just really trying this thing out because i believe mm. like Luena, the more you do your own events it's it's a way of testing system like you do yeah, this yeah, yeah. and testing and really pushing the system to see where can the flaws come if they come through and how can we best stop that or what but yeah. like i feel like uh uh having that your company like the more high holder get the more like the scene like i can imagine if there are 10 good really really good annual uh deep house events in the country even more than 10 possibly using system mm -hmm. you know like your event also grows yeah, yeah. but also we, we are seeing value in 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 grow, growing another black men's business because but other other systems especially established systems once they are so established they don't really care about how much percent they, percentage whatever yeah. you are a small event they don't actually know they they don't care it's it's more about men yeah. you want to use our system but when you have somebody like you you know there are other ways that you can negotiate through the whole thing um i just yeah. wanna yeah, i just hope that more people can get into it man really honestly speaking Mark, but I hope it's like, uh, uh, the marketing yeah yeah night of soul because uh last year no i mean two years ago i saw the way it was marketed um you had a hashtag yeah one of ten thou you know and everybody Ooh. kind of was using that hashtag you had a big lineup which we'll get to uh, but i want to understand in terms of marketing do you only focus specifically on um in kuruman when it comes to your marketing uh you know what uh, that i've always been thinking about actually uh, the previous year and uh, this year né? for a i think night of soul is kept to kuruman mm -hmm. like capping means for it we have reached the limit in kuruman uh, we have reached a limit in terms of I, I don't think we can ever grow Gadi numbers Takuruman. So we need to reach out other avenues like other towns as well. Mm -hmm. So 
our marketing is that uh, it's uh, people ask me these questions because the market uh, the marketing it's it's because the the I, I I like to call night of soul uh, but again an experience not an event because what what night of soul does is motomo no mongo fila or in the at home so when they're at home in that abagoring when something comes up to night of soul but the market in Kuruma, but basically and then obviously when abu josi you would see it some friends from here on your Facebook or whatever your social media mm -hmm. so that's how that's how he did it that's why that's how he, he market up and then on marketing we spend a lot of uh, taking little money on marketing because he market herself because uh but to give what they they take it there like it's like something trending on black Twitter mm -hmm. you know how 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 something can trend yeah. on black. that's it, it happens like that it's yeah. it's magical it's because people uh like but what about the night of soul like, I, I i would guarantee you that 60 percent of them they are not in the deeper scene but just because they like the event they like the experience mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. so they would they would rather tell you what hey on facebook ah, i'm one of ten thousand. so the campaign was that we wanted to reach ten thousand mm -hmm. people so we were hoping that it would drive to a point where Every somebody in Cape Town would ask, "What is this one of ten thousand, right? mm. But it never reached to that point. And then, okay, yes, we did other activations for that year. We went to Goma, Kimberley, and other neighboring towns, your Five Ex, your Tangu, and stuff like that. Mm. But I feel what it, it was not enough in terms of it was a new thing. Ukrabana marketing takes time. Right? Mm. You first have to build for it. Uh, three months you introduce this product. Motoro transfer absorb. So. We went there at the last month and say, well, we are doing an event. Somebody is not going to buy into that event. Hmm. For like a year or three months or something like that. That's how marketing is. Hmm. So going forward, yes, our marketing now will be across. Yeah, yeah. Even, even maybe America, if um, you invest some money into it. Yeah, I uh, mean, uh, you guys need to, I mean, like for, for an event, they are a net of soul. And uh, you know, you get a get through for money because how do you have that event three times in a year in a row and how i don't get an event you know like one of the people why know what about country to that scene you get an idea man got some more maybe in the future he's gonna do it he's gonna do the right thing so, no, Oscar, because <laughs> i can tell you about the great problem not a problem rebellions. yeah wow. that's true that's true that's true. there's a lot of us and Every day there's going to be and I love that of Sheva when Night of Soul started. Yeah? I wanna okay, maybe one or two DJs may repeat it. Mm. Well, they have been repeated. But out of Sheva lineup, it's always different. So it shows for it. We are introducing DJ LSG. We are introducing Ralph Gam, for example. We are introducing Christos. So it's a a year, okay, a twelve months. So we cannot be like it's happening every day if it was happening every day the <laughs> short level like, yeah, 10, level like yeah, a thousand do you get it yeah no i get wow. it i get it so, so was, uh, uh, with regards to the djs specifically um when do you guys decide like is it a, a immediately after the the last event or a um okay these are the kind of djs that you want to have on the show and and how do you even come to to those decisions okay yeah, uh, DJs, how do we decide them? Uh, I ha we have a team, yeah? mm. so what happens? A team would say, ah, LSG, yeah? mm. we put your name on the board, yeah? mm. and then say, Yeah, after the event, or maybe January, I guess the, the event happens, uh, November, mm. so maybe good December, yeah? maybe you're hot that December, LSG, Ramobamo, Boto, Mama, okay, so. Let's say Gabo Mamach, we have meetings maybe monthly or two times uh, every second month. Mm -hmm. So every month we, we have names and staff to play around. Mm -hmm. And then we, we say, how do we evaluate? Um, okay, LSG, moving circles. Okay, moving circles is hot now. Will it be hot ka, uh, but again, ka, ka September? Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe it will still be relevant. People would know 
because that's that's the issues we look at uh for it like uh, are you far away from from other people because i like i like what Bo, Bo Kaspar are doing they they don't take too long to release music because that's when people stay it lingers in the people's minds Hore. Mm. they still cast on your vest like Bo, Bo, my piano that's what they do because there's a song every week or every month because people don't forget about you so we we, we look at those things for it if if you go beat uh, are you going to attract maybe a thousand people and then those thousand people are they going to call other five people because we we travel in group of in group of fives a car is like five people or, or one dollar yeah. so that's that's the issues we look at so maybe that june we have 100 names yeah because uh where came on there's judy j she's she's popping one dollar yeah so can we call judy j what well, like that's how we assess them but obviously above that we need a name a household name mm. we need your christos we need your da vinci we need whoever like a name that everybody can resonate to mm, mm. so and then who would be known by five thousand people in the deep house scene but if i mention christos mm. whether you like uh uh what is this bubblegum music you know of christos yeah i'm sure even my mom knows of christos <laughs> i'm sure even my dad knows of Christo. but do you get any like you you have to relate in that it's it's difficult to make an event because you need to relate to the people as well. You need to attract people because we are investing money here. Mm. It's not about correct. I wonder if we were doing this for fun. If I would call you and say, "I LSG, Zorala, drive. Let's have fun and let's let's uh, invite people and let them enter for free." Mm. But now it's money mm. because we have to deal with Boma the Section Four. Mm. It's money. What trying to hear security, qualified security. Like it's money. Even if we have to do a free event, it's going to cost us money, mm. and we need to get that return at the end of the day. So that's how we select. That's how we. Yeah. We. we yeah. No, so when I when I learn Al Gama, I know I know there is there is that back end talk that we were doing yes. uh, last year. So when I learn Al Gama, keep on keep on the be on the people's eyes more, and then. Uh, we'd go there yeah yeah, yeah no and i i think you know when the time is right the time is right yeah. also yeah um, but I, I i do understand that that logic yeah for a, um somebody who can the the main idea is that you want to have an event that uh, or to have people who can attract more people to come into the event or one and True. there's various factors True. that you've mentioned True. and uh so i, I want to ask you like uh, the, the biggest one that you've had to date yeah. How many people did you have? Uh, we've had, uh, let me start with uh, year one. Year one, we reached 1,000. That's what showed us for it. Ah, we are rocking. We can keep on going. Yeah? And then Kajara, we, too, we had 2.8. So it doubled. Like, yeah, it doubled. And then year two, I said, I, I spoke to my team. I, I can remember we were on our we were from private and I said, you know what is the problem that we're doing? Is that we are not telling people how many people we want. It was in December, I remember the time. Yeah. We are not telling people how many people we want. We are saying we're doing an event. And if 50 people comes, they would say, but well, we came, but we came. Yeah. But if we feel if we make the people feel that they are part of this thing, like Night of Solo has always been. Tell them, we are part of 10,000. So we were aiming for, for 10,000 in 2018. And then we invested a lot of money. A lot of money went in rather, to get that 10,000. And then um, we, got, we got about 5.5, 6,000, which was not bad from the 10,000. But I still believe Kore, that 10,000, we could have reached it. Rather yeah so that's that's the biggest we've been and for that matter it's it's deep house yeah yeah it's yeah deep house. And, I, and like i tell you 60 percent of those people don't understand the songs that you are playing there mm. 
No, no, I'm, like, I'm, I'm really like uh, chuffed about that because that in Hobona event, they are like uh, an event that plays deep house, that plays soulful house music. And hotel are now, you know, like 5,000 is not a small number. And, and it's yeah. also another thing uh, that I like about having that vision to say, okay, we're going to push for 10,000 people. Like that's the target. And then you go, you go at it, you go at it. And then you go and like you reach a five, five, five and a half which is like a big number for it's not the the target any reaches and any little set in yeah. the but it's a big number for a normal deep house event so it, that that's for me it's a i know that for our next time five five point five people if they if they enjoyed the experience if they enjoyed the music more often like probably the the, the next event eight long you guys might even reach the ten thousand or even more but secondly, yeah. is that this thing of setting uh, big goals for yourself, it's like it, anybody can use it in their life. Like the moment you set that goal, you like you say, uh, if you set like, okay, or you don't even set goals, you just go at it. Sometimes that yeah. you are a limit as people, you know, like uh, because you're working towards nothing. And also mm-hmm. when, when you set small goals, it's they're so easily reachable. Like, then you feel like successful only because or you say a thousand people it's fine but yeah. can, can you go further than that that's why people like Kespa would be like i'm gonna fill up the dome you know it's such a huge yeah. thing when you think about it but man yeah it's such kudos to you for that but that's why i copied it you yeah. won't worry Kespa doesn't limit himself like oh yeah that's the thing uh, uh but again I, like oh, what about worry i want to fill up this place so, but now we did it differently and say, we're putting it to numbers. Yeah. Let's have 10,000 people enjoying deep house, enjoying soulful house music. Mm. Wow. That's how that's how it started. So, yeah, in life, you shouldn't limit yourself and you should have goals for it. Ka December, I want to be driving that Maserati. Mm. Because what will be happening from January to, to December? Mm. We'll be pushing for it. It's you must keep on pumping. Yeah. Yeah. So, so about other events, like are there other events in Ohore you look up to where you see Brand Yahaho growing to those levels? Um yeah. I, I'm an event person, LSG in K2. Uh, uh, like uh, my mom, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, you remember when we grew up, I was, I was about 13 years, I was rocking the music scenes. And then they came here, Mukuruma, and then my mom said, Hey, your friends are there doing things. Here's money to go and enter that place and see what your friends are doing. Correct. I always had a mom, a uh, mother that. And as I'm comparing but uh try to show me life in a different way. If your friend is doing that, or if your peer is doing that, mm. you can also do that. Uh it was that thing, Don't tell me you cannot do this thing, Baba. Mm. You uh, uh you can do it. If somebody can do it, you can also do it. Mm. So uh I started attending events at a tender age of 13. So from there on. I was given visa at home. Uh, from after Mumsa, I, 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 I would never ask Kore, uh, can I go out? I would go out and say, I, I was out, mm. but responsibly so, because that's why I'm standing today. Mm. If I did silly things along those way, maybe I would go or a drug edit or whatever, or an alcohol edit. Mm. So responsibly. So I grew up in that scene. My first event that inspired me, I'm paid, I, I was in Monari, 2005. Yeah. I was 17 years. Yeah, 17 years in Monari farm. Ah, that was messy. I saw things that, like, that's when I started thinking of having an event. The day in the Monari, 2005, and I've been to Monari until 2012, from 2005, religiously so. Yeah. So I was learning from Seleko. Uh, I'm for study, but I I was learning from what he was doing. Mm. Like from that age, 17 years. So it took me from 
it took me about 2005, seven years to study the event scene. So I studied that. And then nation came, Kabuma, when did it start being big? I started attending DJ Nation's event 2012. That was my first time. Yeah, so, but 2010 and 11, I missed it mm. because in guess was fun, I couldn't have, well, yeah. and then get a daughter when I'm comfortable, when yeah. I have the means. Yeah. You know, get somewhere under you, under your shadow, and then you can live and you can start acting up on the one first time. So I started attending there, and then I was inspired because happy nation again, I inspired him to top it all because he took that event and did it in a village, which is why can I not do Night of Soul in Kuruma mm. in a different in a different uh, agenda because he's like commercial and stuff with the main event. You know? mm. So and then I said, okay, this is how nation started. Our Tatao Shemasin, they started on a deep house thing. Mm. He started Kavuma Christo, say like it was a deep house, even the main event it was deep house. Mm. And then he started introducing commercial and hip hop artists at later uh, later years wow. so and then i said no i'm going to stick here mm -hmm. i know people always say our scene is not paying our scene doesn't have money wow. but if you stick to one thing like if you believe in something it's going to work out mm -hmm. whether it might take you 20 years i might leave a legacy for my son mm -hmm. but by the time he takes over then he's going to have fifty thousand people in a in a stadium or 80,000 people. And it's, mm -hmm. it's not about me. It's about what I'm doing for the people because a night of soul is not about me. Night of soul, look, I, I attend you again. I attend you again. Give up. Mm -hmm. So if 100 people are satisfied, then I'm satisfied. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, 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 it gets to any event. It's, I'm taking it back home. And then uh, others would be like those Miller parties that we used to have, Koma Joe's back then when I was in. When I was in hunting, yeah, those parties were massive. Mm -hmm. And then House 22, obviously, inspiration comes from there. And then what else? What else, bro? I've never been to Opikopi. I've been I've been wanting to go to Opikopi, but it's one of the events where, where I see the pictures and the videos. Like yeah. I, I I see myself there. I'm inspired by one of those uh, by by Opikopi. Uh, what? Yeah. Those yeah. are the events that inspire. And then uh, the others would be like your normal ones, Boma Kufi, but it's because of the the vibe. And I like I like the traffic. Yeah, yeah. So um just uh what's about Chelet and like what do you do then? Here's an event, you guys reach five point five people, um five thousand five hundred people um in attendance. In terms of money, uh, how do you what what then happens post event? Chelteo like how hanya do you chow the money? Where does the money go? Uh can I uh like one night of soul I am I am the main guy, ne? I am um I've got a team, ne? They do support now and then because you know we are running this thing from our pocket on Talohan. Because, but in twenty years, I I over the years, can I contribute? I contributed ninety five percent of the money. Wow. So yes, after the event, we go down and say, well, okay, sharp. Here's your cut that you contributed, and here's an offering from Night of Soul. And then you know, already, Night of Soul is also coming back next year, so we need to save this chunk. Sometimes we lose. Sometimes we end up not. We end up in deficit, bro. Mm. Like for example, uh, I don't know. I don't know what happens. Well, we end up in deficit, but you can see the numbers. But you know how an event is. Diesel generator. You have to go. Like the other side, you count Do you get it? Mm. So you end up in a deficit or a break even. And you wonder why but there were a lot of people and yes, I counted the money. It was about ten thousand, but it was not much. Mm. Do you get it? Mm. So it's it's uh, you end up saying for the you, you save for the future. Mm. 
Baba. Mm. You say for, but uh, the plan is now for it. Night of Soul should be done in maybe different towns. Until I caught them. Mm. So let's say Devon, Cape Town, and then Kuruman or Devon, like something like that, so that the money can keep on revolving. Because outside are 300,000 game, it's going to be there, and then it's going to gain 6% interest mm. a year. It's not, it's not much. Mm. Do you get it? Mm. So we try, but it's what the working thing is, how about I do we think for it? Ah, there were 5,000 people, mm. money came in, but we don't realize that's uh, that's the challenge that uh, most of the time we have with the team members because they see the numbers and say, oh, ah, we've made this much because I'm open, I'm transparent like that. Mm. We go there, we count the money all together. Mm. A representative from each department or each, like they, they are hostesses, and there are guys from the security, there are guys managing one, two, three, mm. state manager and stuff like that. So we go to those kind of things. We go to a meeting after that and we count so that you can go to your team, your department and say, okay, we counted this much because it's we we don't trust each other, like I said. Well, mm-hmm. So the issue is that we counted, for example, I'm making, I'm making an example. We counted 5 million, mm-hmm. but I'm getting 500. Mm-hmm. So you don't realize, you don't question yourself for it. How much did we spend to get to that five million? Yes. Maybe we spent four point eight million. Mm, mm. Do you get it? Yeah. So people don't think that way, Wabon. But though we, you try to be, to be as much as open as as possible. Because I cannot share the details. I cannot share what LSG gave me a hundred k. Yeah. I cannot share. Do you get it? And way about the LA one fifty. Yeah. I cannot share those things, but. I can only share for it. This is this is the budget. This is how much you spend on the budget. Mm. This is how much is left. This is how much I'm giving you. Mm. Until I, as we agreed. Yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah, we share the money basically. No, I can hold, I can hold And then uh, lastly, I want to ask you this thing. I uh, the logistics with regards to uh, friends, right? Like when you have friends, uh, when you have a successful event, naturally your friend list, yeah, whole. Sudden Luna Bicho oh. is a dinti, you know, because Mamma Rah support that I will support. Do you have any issues where um people uh want freebies because Kidicho Mitaha? Mm. Not really. Not really. Uh, why I'm saying that uh, I believe people support this event on Taloha. And uh, they I'm, I'm amazed every day, man, let me, every day Night of Soul happens. Uh, I get cat hook, like on that day, every morning when I wake up, it's like, I don't want to wake up because, hey, are these people really going to come? Yeah. Like, as they promised on Facebook, are they going to come? Yeah. Are we going to see those numbers? Wow. Or on social media. So, people come there, they want to see this event grow. Kore, they are proud. Kore, like, this is an event. It's not my event. It's the people's event. So, most of the time, I don't get it. I would get it from, I would see maybe that, like, ko, ko, kumsi, ne? Mm. I would get it from, I would see like, I like, I would get it from, I would see a lot of people, I would see a lot of people, I would those guys, and I would appreciate it because, or like oh over tower but we cannot really afford mm. our first time yeah, and yeah. then i would like out here do you really want to go here's the ticket go mm. so that learner like i was part of those people so it's one of the but uh out here i got this panel they didn't sharp but they didn't grant uh, i'll take support. i don't give you a p thousand rand they, they take it out yeah nice so, nice yeah, so nice. It's not that. Yeah, sure. It's not that bad. Nah, sure, mm. sure. Mm. Nah, uh, nah, nah, I'm, I'm very like uh, happy, like firstly because Kuruman, uh, Kuruman, I've been, I've been playing Kuruman since 2011. You know, like, um, mm. I, and and always you find this, there is this little uh, little la 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 deep house. Like, yeah, um, little thing. Like, uh, when you talk about Kuruman and Mafikeng, like we we do have that uh, support. Yeah, yeah deep house music one um, I think 
but we've always missed having those kind of events like events specifically city ring we are a deep house event we are a soulful house event mm. you know what i mean we mm. don't we haven't had many of those in the past and for you so with your team it's a big thing but secondly i, I feel like man uh, your product they are digi ticket i i really i believe so much in it like in the next few years you will see so much growth in it as as long as we're now to learn to you for like i can only see great things so um, yeah man all, all the best to you for that yeah thank you thank you for and uh i i, I also hope for him uh, a lot of people get to see this interview because i think uh that's why i was most open about um did you take it as well mm. as well as night of soul Bravo, so that uh they can invest more on 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 digi ticket it's here it has been here the struggles have been there like i'm more about talking on the the process not the but again the, the success because what what happens is that being with ralph gum we don't know where you come from we should share we should be at that stage according to the process or it it's not it, it will not be done in a day mm. right it will not be done in a day well, mm. so i hope people would see this and then uh people would start investing or asking about digi ticket if they need uh further clarity and as well as right of soul i hope to see somebody from we have never seen somebody from devon i get i i get that's not a good town but I hope somebody from Cape Town now can see that uh, there's an event in Kuruman in a small town in Kuruman. Uh, uh, but again, this, it's called Night of Soul. It's it's my kind of scene. Mm-hmm. I would like to be there. It's an experience. Uh, I want to do as our journalism. Mm-hmm. So I'd like to, like, yeah, I believe in that. I believe in that growth. And uh, I want to tell you uh, straight for it. Uh, it's a struggle problem. Um, I've invested money in in these projects, these two projects, you know? mm. and I have lost money. Mm. You know? I don't have money, but I am going there. You know? I'm going to, um, why I'm saying this because I know I believe in in what I'm doing. I believe for it. Next year, I can go or when I'm interviewed somewhere or wherever they see digital ticket, mm. they would say for it like. It's it's not a lie. It's uh, uh, they would say what this person was saying this. Look where this person is, and I believe in that growth. I believe that the support will come. It's not about. It's not about. I, I believe the trust will come because I mentioned the trust. Wow. Mm. So I I want to share this because somebody out there wants to start something, and then they'll give up because they've spent a million rand of their money and it's mm. lost. And Mosadi Weme, huh? or uh, the mother doesn't believe in that person anymore, or whatever. Like, why don't you go and do one, two, three? One, two, three. So I wanna, I'm sharing this so that to encourage a person or it. Keep on going, mm. keep on going. It will open up because uh, if I can share, uh, yesterday I was trying to do something. I would not share much, but and then your WhatsApp came in and said, "Oren, you have to do this because we've been talking about this." And that was the first greatest news I've got for that day. And then I went on what happened as well. Yeah, and then I got a call saying, you have to do another project for one, two, three. Mm-hmm. And then like the great news kept, kept on coming yesterday. Like yeah. it just, like we started it. And uh, that's why I appreciate this interview. And that's why I'm more energetic today because I think you, you opened my day yesterday. You opened my day because it started as something bad mm-hmm. before you send me a text. And then after that, it was just positive news. So you, like, everything has its, its, its day, one time mm-hmm. you. Like, you, you, don't, you don't need to give up. Only mm-hmm. give up on your day. Yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's when you would not be able to do anything. But as long as you still live, keep on moving. If you want to be, uh, but again, if you want to be a uh, kunyuki yeah. keep on doing it. And if you want to be minimal looks, keep on do it, doing it until the world sees you. Because eventually somebody will notice. And once that person notices, 
that's when your big break will come through on the Lord. Mm. I'm not saying my big break has came, but it's yet to come. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think it, it, it's those uh, steps, bro. Like uh, also the big break doesn't happen. It's not a one big bang thing, you know. It, it's it's small little um, progress, you know. It's small little successes that eventually mm. take you to the big thing. And and the thing you were mentioning also, bro. Like now I think. Uh, it's a it's a dope thing to when somebody's working on, on something that they they want to do and through difficulty you know it, it becomes very difficult bro very few mm. people will actually stick it out and and those few people are the ones that actually see the most success you know as somebody that you 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 normally mention i know you look up to uh, the founder of amazon jeff bezos amazon was non-profitable for about 10 years 10 years straight losses 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 you know mm. what i mean but like you're talking about the richest men in the world right now and and it's possible if in our own way obviously you know yeah yeah man anyway i just want to say thank you to everyone who's watching this please share the video please take somebody in the comment section who might learn from it who might enjoy it especially about digit ticket you know because I, I i really believe that if more people see it more people can start using the platform the service for their events the event before we know it and um you know we need to be supported we need the most support from one another you know now more than ever otherwise guys let's remember to stay creative peace <laughs>